Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So 2017 is behind us. We're starting 2018. And tomorrow, the Anti-Monitor event starts. So tomorrow, January 3rd, 2018, is the start of the Anti-Monitor event, also known as the Anti-Monitor Attacks. So there will be a downtime tomorrow. So the announcement is that tomorrow, Game Update 77 will go live. All servers will be taken offline tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Time on January 3rd, 2018. Uh, that is to launch Game Update 77. Downtime may last up to 8 hours. Sometimes it lasts less, but at the very least, expect maybe 8 hours of downtime. If it's less, even better. We're going to be able to start playing earlier. But it could, again, tomorrow, it could have happened that the game will be down pretty much all day. Also, even once the downtime is over, odds are we're going to have a, to update, to, to download a pretty big update and to install that big update. So that also could take a bit of time. So I'm not sure if this, if this is going to affect the, the live stream tomorrow. It could happen that the live stream uh, happens later because of that. Or it could even happen that maybe there won't be any live stream tomorrow. I guess we'll have to wait and see tomorrow. And also, uh, Game Update, again, Game Update 77 features the return of the Anti-Monitor Anniversary event. And tomorrow we will have the full update notes that will be posted on the forums tomorrow. Also, you may have noticed a bit of a change on the channel. Uh, the first change I made not too long ago was that uh, I'm pretty much changing the way I'm doing the thumbnails right now. Uh, basically, the thumbnails I was making were becoming way too too busy if it makes any sense uh, there was way too much information uh, on the those poor little thumbnails so we'll try to simplify the thumbnails well I've been simplifying the thumbnails uh, basically I'm going to go with maybe one image and uh, one bold uh, title for the thumbnails and that should mostly be it once in a while I will have extra information like maybe the name of the DLC or something like that but as a rule of thumb, I will try to, to keep the thumbnails uh, a little bit simpler. Basically, I was more than overdue for a change. And I pretty much did a 180 compared to what I was doing uh, previously. So my main videos will have uh, simpler thumbnails, but I will still try to play with the thumbnails a bit for other videos. Uh, one other big changes you may have noticed is that I started making videos in other language than the language of the English. Basically, some people have been asking if I could make uh, videos in, uh, in French. So if you see some videos in a weird language, it is in French. Basically, it's people have been asking if I could make videos in French. And seeing how I actually do speak the language, I thought, why not? An easy way that you can tell my French video apart from my regular videos is that Pretty much on the thumbnails and in the video description, I do mention Francais, which is French. So you should be able to distinguish my, my French videos from my non-French videos that way. But also the thumbnails alone should be able to, to help you tell them apart. Again, I went very simple with, uh, with my, my thumbnails for my main videos. But for my other thumbnails, I went back to a little more uh, elaborate thumbnails. Basically, I'm making uh, these tiny comic book covers, pretty much inspired by the, the comics that I used to read uh, when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I was reading uh, French translation of, uh, of comics, mainly Marvel comics, but also uh, DC and a few, other, a few others. So the, the thumbnails that I made are going to be inspired uh, by, by comics that I was reading as a kid, basically. So just with the thumbnails, you should be able to tell the videos apart. But again, if you're not sure, uh, it's written in black and white on the thumbnails uh, that, it, uh, that it is in French. And also it is written on the video description. So, and worse comes to worse, if you start listening to the video and you hear uh, uh, an exotic foreign language, it, it is uh, in French. So if you don't want to, if for some reason you don't want to watch or listen to French videos, you don't have to. And you should be able to tell those videos apart fairly easily, thanks to their distinguished thumbnails. Uh, some suggested making a French channel for my French videos, basically making a new channel for my French videos. And I thought it might be a good idea at first. Uh, what, one thing you don't know is that technically I have two other channels, but those channels have uh, zero content and zero subscriber. 
uh, and I remembered why. I, basically, eons ago, I was I was toying with the idea of, of creating a second channel, until I realized that until you have like a thousand subscribers, there's a whole bunch of options you don't have, and also uh, linking the channels to AdSense. Like the first time when I started my Multiverse channel, it took months and months and months to be able to link my my YouTube channel to some to uh, to AdSense. Now, ironically enough, at the time I was told that, that it was supposed to take like two weeks, but it took a lot more than two weeks in my case. So I'm not sure I want to go through that again. And also, as I mentioned, I have zero subscribers on those channels. So it it would take quite a while before I got all the same options that I have on the Multiverse channel. I might try to make a second channel at some point, but uh, I'm just not at that point just yet. So uh, I hope you won't mind too much. Once in a while, you are going to see some uh, some French videos on the Multiverse channel. And again, with the thumbnails, you should be able to tell those videos apart. So if you really don't want to watch those videos, you should be able to avoid them fairly easily. Another suggestion was to put uh, subtitles in the videos. I tried that and uh, basically I did the, the subtitles for like the first two minutes of my uh, Phantom video. And it took me like almost half a day. I'm exaggerating a bit, but if I was to make a... Like the video lasts for about 40 something minutes. And if I was to make uh, subtitles for the whole video, it would take uh, half a day, maybe a day's, uh, a day's worth of work. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. There is a way for YouTube to, to add captions automatically. Uh, sadly, so far it seems to only do that in the very same language. So if I put uh, French captions on a French video, it won't really help anyone. Uh, and it, I, so far, the only way I, I found to be able to, to put English subtitles on a French video was to do it the hard way by writing the subtitles myself. If you guys know of a way to do it uh, easily and quickly, uh, let me know and, and I'll do that. If not, I'm going to have to do it either the hard way or I, I just won't do it at all because it will take way too much time. Another thing that I've been meaning to do is to make D&D videos. Uh, basically, I, I, love, I love playing D&D, uh, &D, and especially I love playing uh, some D&D games like Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, and even Neverwinter from time to time. So I was toying with the idea of making D&D uh, related videos on those games. Uh, I was toying at some point with the idea of maybe making a D&D day, like maybe Friday could be D&D day. Or there could be a time during the day where I actually make a D&D video. Like it could be like at 7 at 7 a.m. when this Universe Online is down. I could take that time to, to make a D&D video. So I'm still working on that idea. But if you see D&D videos starting to pop up, don't be surprised. It's something that I'm, I'm hoping to do before long. And also the D&D the videos will have very distinctive thumbnails. Like you saw basically... Uh, for the Baldur's Gate video, I reproduced the, the look of the what was known as the D&D Red Box set, where you could play D&D uh, eons ago. So basically, I'm going to make uh, bold thumbnails for the D&D videos, so you won't be able to miss it. So if, if for some reason you don't want to watch any D&D videos, you're going to be able to avoid those also fairly easily. You're going to be able to, able to identify those and avoid those if you, if you don't want to watch them. So that's pretty much it for the updates I made to the Multiverse channel so far. There might be a thing or two that I failed to mention, but it's probably not a big deal. If you have any questions, any suggestions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.